Welcome to Chapter 2 of our story, where the echoes of the library have faded, leaving Evelyn, Max, Nina, and Leo standing at the precipice of their chosen narratives. Each doorway before them is a portal into the depths of their own fears. The air shimmers with an otherworldly glow, and the very fabric of reality ripples around them, drawing them into the stories that await. Join us as we delve into their journeys, exploring the challenges and revelations that lie ahead. Evelyn steps forward, her heart a wild drumbeat of trepidation and excitement. As she crosses the threshold, the world around her transforms into a dark forest. The trees stand like ancient sentinels, their gnarled branches reaching out like skeletal fingers. Shadows dance at the edges of her vision, whispering secrets that send shivers down her spine. Evelyn feels the weight of the forest's mystery pressing in, yet she draws strength from the shadows, weaving her own narrative amidst the towering trees. Max finds himself in a dilapidated mansion, its walls adorned with portraits of long-forgotten faces. The air is thick with dust and the scent of decay. As Max wanders through the dimly lit corridors, he feels the weight of his own insecurities pressing down on him. Each creak of the floorboards echoes his fear of failure, a constant reminder of the expectations he feels suffocating him. Yet, with each step, Max confronts his fear, determined to prove to himself that he is more than just a cautious observer. Nina's narrative unfolds in a vibrant meadow, a stark contrast to the darkness surrounding her friends. Yet, even in this seemingly idyllic setting, she feels the shadows of her past creeping in, the whispers of doubt that have always lingered in her mind. It is here that Nina begins to understand the strength of her empathy, as the spirits of the meadow reveal their own struggles, mirroring her own. With her heart open, Nina reaches out, discovering that her empathy is a powerful tool, capable of bridging the gap between fear and understanding.